talk about the the veterans, construction workers, you know, civilian workers, spouses, family. There's some estimates there's well over three million people who would qualify for some type of compensation due to these illnesses. Um, and there's obviously a lot of people already, you know, running these national ad campaigns. Um, but as we mentioned kind of at the outset, um, you know, the importance of, of understanding and knowing there's local help. Why is it important for somebody to contact an attorney locally to help them with a claim like this? Okay. Two part. Um, one, you are correct. I think it's just this blood in the water effect. Um, and the sharks are circling. Um, and a lot of times, you'll, if you look deeply, of course, it's very difficult to see who's putting this ad on tele- television or on the Internet. Um, you know, but it's usually a lot of these class action, large class action you know, law firms. And it's just they want to r- just rake in as many people as possible, mm-hmm. shoot them down the chute, and, you know, collect the money. Yeah. Or they're big national advertisers that aren't yes. actually even a law firm. That too. They just – sign up a bunch of cases and then sell the retainers to law firms. Mm -hmm. And that law firm could very well be in Kansas. And, you know, so somebody local calls a 1-800 number and their attorneys on the other side of the country, and they'll never have a face-to-face conversation with that person. Exactly. And so the big, the big key here is even if it was a class action lawsuit, if if you, if you've suffered something, you know, one of these large products, the talc or, um, you know, hip implants or any of these large ones that have come out in the last decade, I still personally would want someone local that I could talk to. Someone I can go and sit in their office, talk to, pick up the phone, talk to. Um, But the key thing with the Camp Lejeune uh, litigation is going to be that this is not a class action lawsuit. These are going to be individual claims um, filed individually on behalf of every claimant. So, you know, having someone that you can tell your story to and everything, I think is huge. You know, you're not a number. Instead of that, you know, having someone at least local you know, you can explain this is what's happened to me and you become a story and not a number Mm -hmm. because it is, it's going to be very individualized. Um, Everyone's going to have small little differences in their claims. It's not peace. You know, it's not just one blanket statement like a class action is. Um, So that's the main thing there. And also another thing I'd like to say is that I know, you know, I think a lot of us know that a lot of veterans are going to be very incredulous. Mm -hmm. You know, the government does not have a great record, you know, going all the way back to, you know, Agent Orange stuff in the Vietnam War. Or how about not paying Revolutionary War oh, vets gosh. after oh, yeah. that? I mean, at the I was thinking a little more recent. Yeah. yeah, someone who may be still around right now and listening to this. But, yes, exactly. going all the way back to, you know, not paying compensation for Revolutionary War vets. But uh, more recently, Agent Orange comes to mind, things like that. Um, so I understand that people are going to be naturally incredulous and, and and not wanting to trust the government. That's why I think it's so key to note that this is probably one of the first times that the U.S. government has created a new cause of action against itself mm-hmm. or anyone for that matter, like you said. Um, for someone to sit there and say, okay, we're going to build a new way for you to sue us, that's rare. Yeah, even with the tobacco litigation, yeah. the government sunsetted any further claims yep. and barred any additional claims after that mm-hmm. settlement. So. Exactly. Exactly. They protected themselves going forward, mm-hmm. you know, the industry. So um, I think that those are kind of some of the big things is one, th- this is not a part of, you don't want to be part of a class action and something like this. And it's not a class action. You don't want to just, this is my name. This is when I served. This is what I have and be done with it. And then just get a letter in the mail. Uh, you know, you want to have someone that you trust that you can tell your story to, to lay those worries on the table. And have, you know, and we're not trying to sit here and say you have to hire us. We just want to get information out there. That's why I wanted to make sure that everyone knew you can't just hire someone to file a lawsuit. You know, you have to do that administrative claim first. Yeah. Um, And that's what we want to do is just get this information out there to vets um, and just try to make sure that people do understand that this is real. Mm -hmm. This is a real cause of action. I think it's going to be real justice as much as you can get from the federal government, Um, you know, and you know, just get that information out to people. So. I think that is the biggest thing. I'm glad you said this is real because that was going to basically be the next thing I touched on is just, 